Do you know Pope sent you a message and said he needed to speak to you man to man? But the only thing that Junior Pope did not know is that you are not a man, you are a woman. Welcome back to this channel, my correct loving and wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on when my video get to you and depending on your locations also. Before we go further, I want to appreciate those that have been following me. Thank you so much for being there for me. And may the good Lord continue to bless you, just as you are standing as a blessing for me. Well, my current loving and wonderful people, though we know that these two, blessing CEO and very dark man, can never agree on a particular thing. Blessing CEO, due to what very dark man said, and what very dark man did to late Gino Pope and later came up online to tell people how he regretted his actions, how he shouldn't have done that, he ignored Gino Pope message and all of that. That did not go down well with Blessing CEO at all. It has been like cat and dog for two of them on social media. Very dark man opinion is always never accepted by Blessing CEO. Even this one, though me, I didn't support very dark man. If not for, I don't know what came over him. Is it because he feels so pompous? Or what is his own business that somebody will send you a message and you just ignore? Now you are regretting it and you keep regretting it. Though my current loving and wonderful people, as I said earlier, Blessing CEO will always react to very dark man opinion. This time around, Blessing CEO have rain another insult on very dark man according to herself she said very dark man is not a man so for late gino pope to have said he wants to talk to very dark man when he was alive man to man was even a mistake because very dark man is not a man he's a lady he talks too much she has said a lot of things let me allow you to hear from her before we Let's hold on, let me correct something then. Gino Pope sent you a message and said he needed to speak to you man to man. But the only thing that Junior Pope did not know is that you are not a man, you are a woman. Did that sink into your head? You are not a man, you are a woman. So him saying he wants to speak to you man to man, thank God you never reply to his DM. Because you are a woman, you are a talkative. Let's continue with the video so that we can understand where the um, Amo Adjolajo is coming from. Because he literally said, I need to speak with you man to man, something very, very urgent. Man to man means that he does not want to talk to me on the phone, he does not want to send a message, he just wants to have a conversation. I don't know what the conversation might be, but now that I went up by, I realized that it would have been a very serious conversation that maybe would have um, avoided anything. I don't know. I don't know. And then he said it's very, very urgent. You understand? I didn't respond. I took a screenshot of it. And when I came back to this DM, he activated it. Now, why did I not respond? I did not respond because um, I don't like most of the celebrities in this country. Some of them try to fans me when they see me on the road and all that. And I've had experiences one or two of them. And I know that most of them want to come close to me because of what I do. They might be scared. Okay, this one, if you can't call me out tomorrow, so let me just try to be his friend, you know. And then immediately he sent the message. I told one of my guys, I said, did you not send me a message? You understand? Actually, I even told Kokobi. I said, did you not send me a message? I don't know why this guy is sending me a message, you know. But if you go delete, I'm like, Pere. You understand? And truly, he deleted it, so I did not feel like... It was serious, you understand? Until this thing happened, only God know what Junior Pope won't tell me. And like I said, I regret that 100%. Shut up. Shut up. You did not regret anything 100%. The first point is Junior Pope sent you a message privately and said he needed to talk to you man to man. But because you are not a man, you are a woman. That's the reason why you did not pay attention to him. But if it is anything partaking woman, you will jump into it like River Niger. If it's something about blessing, see you, Tonto DK, Yabo, Ujo, dragging women, you will jump into it. Now that it was time for you to show us that you are an activist, you ignored your fellow man. You don't see, say, you get choco, choco, choco for head. Number two point. 
I'm Wajo Lajo. Rejected prick. Why did you screenshot that message? What was your motive? Because it was a harmless message that somebody sent to you. You screenshotted it and kept it in your phone. For what? For the day that he's going to buy. For you to come and say, oh, I know Junior Pope. Because that's exactly what you're doing. You're trying to say, ah, he came to me as, as therapist. Or as what? My question is, why did you screenshot that um, DM and kept it? After he had deleted it. It simply means you have a motive. And people need to be very careful with human beings like this boy. Now look at you shouting, oh, I wish I had responded to his DM. And I wish I had... I wish I had. Why will you respond to his DM when you are looking for women to be fighting with up and down? Because you are a coward. You are a woman. If now a woman sends you that message, now if I know, if I know, ignore. And then like nah, some of these Nigerian celebrities, they want to get close to me because of what I do, so that I don't call them out. Call who out? It's the fact that you feel like you are important. You are bloating yourself. They are trying to farm you. You. <laughs> Why I be like Jingle Bello? Oga, pack one side. Get into the house and go and sleep. You are a little boy on these streets. And this shows the amount of irresponsible or incredible that this boy is. Junior Pope sent you a DM. You screenshotted it. A harmless DM, they did not threaten you. They did not threaten you. You did not respond. But you screenshotted it and kept it. Now that he's late, you now brought out the screenshots. Now, why are you bringing out the screenshots? What do you want to come and do now? Why are you bringing it out? To prove to us that ah, he reached out to you for help oh, as an activist. You have failed activist. You could not even still do the job of an activist. All this one you're doing online, you're constituting nuisance. Now it was time for you to play the role of an activist privately. To listen to this young man and know what the problem is. That like now, so you go to chase bless you, see you. They chase Tonto. They chase they chase different women. You chase my bad wife. Your fellow man now don't send you DM. You read them. You don't reply. But you munch them. Seven. February. March. April. You keep harmless DM for your phone to prove a point. Police need to call you in for questioning. Yes. Why did you keep the message on your phone to come and show the public? That Junior Pope is shouting me. But I would have responded. I regretted why I did not respond. You are not an activist. You are just a noise maker. You have not even do any, done any activism job. Uh, maybe if I had spoken to him, something would have gone, uh, something would have gone, sit down, Focus your energy. Now, you now see that men have problem. You now see that men are going through a lot. Attend to them. Leave women alone. Hmm? You too like nyash. Any small thing, let's see your nyash. You too like noise. When it was time for you to be a real celebrity, imagine you had responded to that DM and found a way to see him or hear from him. It would have been an accolade for you right now that behind the scene, Amwan Jolajo was working. But no, you read and you not reply. Because say you get up to 1.3 million followers. I don't even know what you feel like. I don't know what you feel like. For me, this post is unnecessary. we are a clout chaser. That's what it is. If anybody will screenshot your message, your harmless message, and keep it in their phone, run from such people. Because that message was not a threat. I don't even know why you even brought out the message at the first place. You are the one that said, we have lost empathy for humanity. Everybody wants to bring out their phone. The video when an incident is happening. Uh, I didn't need to bring out your own phone now. Now that the incident is happening that Junior Pope is late, did you not bring out your own phone now to cloud to chase? To feel important. Like, ah, he sent me a message. I'm an important personality. Oga, go and continue selling preach. Because see this activist in what way they do. You not go blow. Because you're a selective activist. You can imagine somebody that calls himself an activist. Chooses to read people's DM and not reply. What sort of useless activist are you? Not to talk more about when you see a verified page or a public figure. You're not an activist. You are just a talkative. And you are not a man. Anybody that wants to talk to you man to man. You are a woman. Your mouth is Did you agree with Blessing CEO 
after listening to her in this video all what she has said i do not the insult was too much but then i'm not supporting what very dark man did that is just an act of irresponsibility just being so pompous somebody send you a message i want to talk to you you remember to screenshot it and did not reply the person just ignore the person it is very very bad look down on everybody is not a good attitude and bless the ceo <laughs> as i said earlier we know them we know that the two can never work together unless they agree and when are they going to agree that has not come for now thanks so much for watching remain ever blessed stay tuned for the next update bye